it gets below a minute, you can score and that'll stop the clock. But right now, you got to foul. Cornelius driving, gets two. Andre. One minute to go, one minute. One, three. Knocked Andre down by Andre Cornelius, his second triple of the game. Possessions. Cornelius. First three of the season. And a little roar from Andre. He's at the top to feed Cornelius in the corner. That's the first three of the half for the Patriots. Now in his third game, and there he is with the steal. And to the basket, Cornelius registers the easy two, and it's got Mason on top, 28-26. Baysmore, yep. they just seem to recruit and develop that style of player. Oh. Has a lot of contact inside, produces a couple of freshmen in for Blaine Taylor with Breon Key, as well as Richard Ross. And a Andre Cornelius two-pointer that time. Yes. And to get over the hump today, they have to find a way to get him going in the rhythm. In a real rhythm. Talk about a rhythm getting going. How about Andre Cornelius as he deadlocks the game yet again? At you want to try to play a little faster than you would on the road. As you see, he gets free here behind the arc. Cannot give him that much room. All much to the displeasure of Ron Hunter. Andre Cornelius in for two. A lot of contact there, letting him play. And Cornelius wiggled his way through. Communicating and finding people. We were tied for the moment, and Andre Cornelius unties it. So we'll have Armin Marks come in for Devon Moore. Andre Cornelius. Great with a nice little runner. Jim Laranega, who left to go to Miami. Now Cornelius attacks the basket. Boy, that's a tough move to guard. With the left hand also. He's so strong, and he can finish around the basket. He's been a big key since they've come back, no doubt. Cornelius fires. Got to get the hit. Cornelius doesn't need a lot of room. He knows what his job is. And, and the George Mason Patriots, they look to set solid screen. Monko, who's got six double-doubles on his resume this year. Cornelius, his second three of the first half. Three-point advantage. Pressure here for the Patriots. Take away by Vaughns. Cornelius. That's a three. Good decision by Bertrand. Cornelius wide open behind the three point line. Playing well for them now. Showing flashes of the future and doing it in the present for the Patriots. So too is Andre Cornelius. And the senior really settling into a nice role after night. 0 of 4 from beyond the arc. Rendleman missing. Pearson loose in the floor. Outletting to Cornelius. Two on one. Down. The man, Andre Cornelius, pushes the ball up the floor, gives the shot. He had a shot, gives a better shot to dunk to his teammate right there. It's a good job by Brian Allen. Patient. Look at the ball reversal. Cornelius with a three. Get right. That's score. Europe by seven. Yep. No need to rush. Here's Cornelius for three. Got it. Andre Cornelius. He's at two threes in his second half. Turn the ball over and take a bad shot. A bad shot, is, to me, is the same thing as a turnover. A team like George Mason can get out and run their fast break, which is what I think they need to do. Cornelius finally ends the field goal drought of over 10 minutes. Paul is made. Yeah, outstanding point. I had him early in the Virginia Tech uh, part of the preseason IT. They weren't there yet, but now they've got it down and they're playing very well. But that's an important trend. They've played extremely hard, and there's this press now is uh, slowing the game down a little bit when they get into it. It's shortening the game. Here's Cornelius off the window. And George Mason takes a ball. And now the jumper is no good by McMillan. And here comes Brian Allen. Cornelius drives and lays it in. Cornelius with six points. His kids, particularly the veterans who have bought into the changes. And Hostra misses a chippy. And here's a run out here. Cornelius, a nifty move, and he gets it to go. Pick for the mid-majors. Oh, no question about it. And Higgins has been in the top ten of rebounding all in an offensive threat. And then Mason, on the other hand, to fit, get back and defend that the transition three. And they break the press there. And Andre Cornelius pounds down that jumper. So what a great piece of coaching by Pat Knight. Cornelius, a three. His third three of the game. Patriots by two. Getting the ball where he wants it for a shot opportunity. He's Very got, good one-on-one -on -one player. He's got eight. Andre Cornelius puts a roadblock in their comeback with a three. 
His now Brian Allen. Cornelius pulls the trigger on a three and nothing but the bottom of the net. Here, Andre Cornelius. That's him on the right wing. Stepping up, loader, it's good. It's good. Great touch going to the basket. He's not big, but he gets up and he's very strong and can finish as he goes in there. Covered by Allen, shot clock still ticking. Pearson gives it up to Cornelius on a three. Got it! Cornelius had waited all night long to hit a three, and he hit a big one, maybe the biggest of the game. I think this finger's one right here. He's right in the middle of all the action as soon as he gets in. Yeah, they're playing off him, so he's just going to. Oh, that was a three. That looks like a three to yeah, me. It really was. Good eyes, John. Good eyes. With the lead, but Towson hanging tough. What a move. Code of conduct. Three seconds to shoot. Cornelius has to fire away, and he hits. Just like Jimmy Laranega drew, drew it up, but good, good clock awareness by the sophomore. While working and keeping track, it was a, a neat way to really feel like the college basketball season is here. Cornelius, with the shot clock winding down, hits the two. Pass to Morrison is taking him to the rim. Sounds like you've said that before, Coach. I have said that, and I've been much less calmer in doing that. <laughs> hey, Cornelius plays with a swagger that he's makes you think Mason could pull this off today. You know, he's on the soul train right now, Cornelius, you know? Dropping off of the easy two for Taylor King. We've got a one-point ball game. Well, that's what Malik Williams does. He's got the strength and quickness, the good court vision that time. Andre Cornelius answering back with a big bucket at the other end. Zone where they pick up zone and then play man to man in an area. Cornelius with the three. He's got six. The sophomore from Charlotte. Nice set play out of the timeout. But Hancock, uh, we talked about uh, how good an athlete he was, but met his match on that one. There's the deep three contested by Cornelius. Boy, very, really enlightening and helped during the season as well. And that's an exclusive list. Those who get invited to those camps, it's a great opportunity. Yep. Shot clock at seven as Cornelius launches. Boy, is he a scorer. He's like Vinnie Johnson. By two and three guys, you can see it with down. Nice move by Schumper. He can't get the roll. Morrison the rebound, and up ahead, here comes Cornelius on the leak out. And there it breaks the long field goal. Playing in, uh, in, in uh, Treviso for Benetton in the Italian oh. league. Cornelius, little teardrop, his first field goal. He's got four, and it's a Indiana. Cam Long. Back out Cornelius. Tear drop from the free throw line. Now, what do we say in the first half? When you're a scorer who's that size, you got to have creative ways in which to get shots up. And that tear drop is perfect for Andre Cornelius. would be surprised if Mason presses a little bit more and, and tries to speed this game up. Birdsong steal leads to Cornelius with the easy two at the other end. Z's lead and the tone was set, Joe by the great gunning of Andre Cornelius. Three early three-pointers by George Mason. Two from Cornelius. You know, Al, when you shoot almost 48% from the arc, that's the equivalent of shooting 72% on two-pointers in terms of the production per attempt. You know how in football we hear about yeah. yards per pass attempt? Well, if you're doing that, you are quite an offensive threat, obviously, and James Madison is going to have to figure that out. All right, and in that first half, they need several big buckets here in the second. Well, he is an energy player with some three-point range, and you can say the same thing about the man who just scored, Andre Cornelius. He now has 15 to lead all scores this afternoon. Well, the spins had the height advantage on Diouf, but Diouf did a pretty nice job there. But the long arms of Isaiah Tate, the steal to Cornelius. Just like that. Cornelius to the hole. The floater is good. A little raindrop by Andre Cornelius. He wasn't even challenged by Flores on that drive. And as a coach, that's got to make you crazy when you got a 6'11 freshman out there. Off the mark on the three, but it's chased down by Isaiah Tate. He'll find Andre Cornelius for three. Andre Cornelius is three for three from behind that line. Unable to bust it with a three. Andre Cornelius in there running the point. Off to Isaiah Tate. Pearson keeping it alive. 
I was going to say, uh-oh, that's one of those things, again, Cornelius wide open, shoulder square. He's going to nail that being the number one shooter in the Colonial. Points. He has 26. Whoa. Now you can see that it looked like he was close to turning it over, but there's Cornelius, another guy who's just been on fire for them all night, stepping up and making big plays. ...of the year, and he comes up empty, had a decent look. Oh, yeah, but it was a great play. They ran him off a couple screens. He was aggressive going to the basket, and Halil had it. Cornelius gets his own rebound and lays it in, Andre Cornelius. See, this is where it's really important. You've got to get hands up in passing lanes. Cornelius. Dang. Off the bench, had that head injury, but comes in and hits. Oh. And that was great for Hoster. It was one of those things where, again, they got the penetration. They didn't get the basket, but they competed for it off the glass. Andre Cornelius with the teardrop. Right back at you. George Mason's been unbelievable with their offensive efficiency this evening. And Cornelius. As he should be. There's a lot going on down there. A great program and a steal. Turnover. Andre Cornelius with the easy bucket. He's back to eight. For Mason in the lead, Cam Long, watched by Denzel Bowles out high and Ben Louis. Andre Cornelius, the floater along the baseline. Here is Pierre Curtis, had it stripped again. The quick hands of Cornelius, who's got the basketball, challenges Flores, and will get the bucket because of it. That's a good play because he had one choice to drop it down. It's a tradition. Both these teams very stingy, especially in the transition defense. Another turnover. Kashel Nikoff, the Russian who checked in for VCU, couldn't handle the pass. Andre Cornelius knocks it down. Well, you love room service passes. You know, sucking up the defense, Hancock, and he's not taking any bad threes. He's three for four, from, and they're all good threes. Saw Cam Long that right time. Got the defense going one way, passed it back the other. Wide open shot. We'll find out what happens. points for George Mason. He had only three the other night. At the other end, Cornelius gets the two right back. Cornelius, deep three, wow! What a start for Cornelius. Eight of his team's 10 points. That's Morrison on top. Tate, wide open Cornelius. Wow! Someone hose him down. He is smoking hot. <laughs> the one thing I like about him is he does not allow. Wow, Cornelius has just been white hot. How about 13 already for Cornelius? Well, he's showing a little mixture of something you don't see from him. The ability to have it in the hands of people who can beat you off the bounce. They've left Cook hanging out dry a few times in this game. Cornelius caught them in the first half. You better not leave me open like that. And the same thing. Get Pearson the basketball inside because he's got a mismatch right now with AJ. How about Cornelius from three? That works too. <laughs> <laughs> 19 for Cornelius. And I guess the shoulder's okay. The matchup against Pearson. Long in the paint. Cornelius drives a three. Oh, he has played really well here of late. His dribble penetration. Morrison, cross court, open look, Cornelius. His first three of the day. Excellent recognition against the zone that time by Mo One and done. George Mason all over the defensive glass. Cornelius for three. 62% of his shots. Down and finally a possession to George Mason. Cornelius at 5'10 with the ball. On the blow by. Going over to recover, and again, a quick shot. Unlike the first half, and Villanova moved the ball around. Too Morrison! Oh! Big fella! Facility up at George Mason University. There's Cornelius, catch and shoot, nothing but that. He's tough. When he gets on a roll, he can make him in strings. Green lost the handle. Cornelius takes it away. It's a race, and it's a right-handed layup for Andre Cornelius. Cam like they did early, or they go to that man, or a nice steal. Again, Cornelius shot the gap, and the lead 16. Watching as he improves. Aberdeen, Maryland, as Cornelius slashes down the lane for two. Cornelius on the court. Turnover. Cornelius ahead of the back. So that was a great.
hand on it, just couldn't tip it in. Cornelius, no hesitation with a three. You can't. His, his second of the game, he's the only guy to hit. Go up and get it. Cornelius with the rejection from behind. Only his second block of this season. Was 12, now a four point advantage as Cornelius bombs one in from way downtown. You cannot go under the screens. Good little move, but didn't know where he wanted to go with it after that. Intercepted Cam Long. On the break. And Cornelius ties the game at eight. That was a great steal by Cam Long to find a couple of rocks tonight. The defensive Cornelius creates the steal and one. In traffic. Long on that one. Cornelius slashes to the basket and gets it to go. Cornelius, a long three, and it goes. What a weapon that is. Off the three, now a turnover. Cornelius. Wow, look at the English. How about the fact he took off from outside the paint? <laughs> Here's Andre Cornelius for three. They need that from Cornelius. He they need to score on those when they get layups in there. Cornelius and answers there again out of the timeout. Hancock down the lane, kick out. Cornelius knocks down the three ball. It's in, but getting tested tonight of the Patriots. Cornelius, rainbow three, got it. First field goal for the Patriots and nearly five. Hit that with confidence. Cornelius has confidence and has the stroke working. Triple number five for number 45. Approaching five minutes since the last Patriot field goal, Cornelius wide open as the Patriots break the press. And he's now tied his career high for threes in a game with his sixth tonight. And on the run out, leaves. Deloche has it blocked away by a trailing Cornelius. For seven, UNCW one for four right now. Up six here, Cornelius for three again. Got another one. 7-3 ball on a career night from long range for Cornelius. I'm sorry, Jason. Chad Tomko got all seven of them professional basketball players. Cornelius slices into the hoop. And now it's 55-27. Cornelius is wide right open and knocks down the three. Great fake to Luke Hancock in the corner. The defense bought the fake. Went. And Pearson kept it alive. That was excellent hustle by Pearson. He couldn't grab it, but he kept it alive. Cornelius now for three, and this game is tied at 35. His game is going back and forth. The first of six games in league play today in this final Saturday in January. Cornelius and comes back with the three. He was upset he got called for that foul, and now he drains a long tray. Give a clock here for George Mason, tied at 37. Cornelius, quick drive for two. No foul call. He... His length, his 6'5 frame. Cornelius, strong move in the reverse layup for two. Cornelius, three from the top of the key is good. Andre Cornelius. Cornelius, the floater. What a shot. Up ahead for Cornelius. How about the hop skip and a jump by Cornelius? 